This lesson is going to focus on multiplying integers and we're going to be using double-sided counters. Um, for those that didn't look at the adding and subtracting, we need to be very familiar with our counters. Now, you will find some counters are yellow and red, some are blue and red. If you get into the colors of algetals, you'll have red and green. Whatever the color combination, you need to set aside one as being positive and one as being negative. Now, in this particular lesson, we're doing the red is negative, the yellow is positive. Now, this background board is called the integer pit. And we always want to have zero in our pit. Now, zero can be represented as nothing. Or when we were doing adding and subtracting integers, we have a zero pair. This is a positive, this is a negative. They cancel each other out. There's a zero. Here's another zero. There's a zero. Doesn't matter the arrangement I've got, but if I have a positive and negative, all of these equal zero. Now, your students need to be very comfortable with that. So when we start multiplying integers, if your students understand that the first group tells how many groups of tiles that we're either going to add or remove from the pit. So if my first number is a positive number, I'm going to be putting those tiles into the pit. So 3 times 2, I'll be putting tiles in. 3 times negative 2, my first number is positive, so I'm going to put that into the pit. When it switches to a negative number, I'm going to be removing 4 groups. And in this one, I'm going to remove 4 groups. Now the 3 will tell us how many groups. The second number is going to tell us how many are inside each of those groups that I'm taking away. Okay, so now remember your pit is empty. So if I wanted to, I could have a zero sitting down here. Now, sometimes that way may help me, sometimes it, it just factors in as a zero. So if I'm looking for three groups that I'm going to add, I'm going to have one group of two. Oops. One group of two. Two groups of two. And three groups of two. Now if I happen to have a zero pair down here, those cancel each other out. My answer for this question, three times two is positive six. Now, I could have, this is my question. I've got three groups that I'm going to add, and each of those groups are going to have negative two in them. So negative two is this, and I need three groups like that that I'm adding to my pit. So 3 times negative 2 gives me negative 6. So here's a question where I've got a negative number. So this negative is going to tell me I'm going to take them out of the pit. I'm going to have four groups and in each group is going to be 2. So if I had a whole bunch of negative, or zero pairs rather, sitting in here, then I would have something I could take out. Now, whatever I have left over as a zero pair, I can just cancel them. So I could have a hundred chips in here. Okay. So I have groups of two. Okay. Now I'm setting these up as zero pairs in groups of two. 
Okay, I want to take out two. Okay, I'm going to remove one group of two. I'm going to remove another group of two. And here's my third group of two I take away. And my fourth. So I'm removing them. Now, I've got extras sitting down here. This is a positive and a negative. They're going to cancel. So there's a zero. I can get rid of them. Here's another zero. I can get rid of them. Negative 4 times 2 is negative 8. Now here's negative 4 times negative 2. So if I get these set up as nothing in my pit again, Okay, the first number is going to say I'm going to remove four groups. I'm going to remove four groups and in each of those groups is a negative two. So I'm going to be removing my reds. So here's my first group gone. My second group is going to go. My third group my fourth group. Now, we've got all these zero pairs. This equals zero, this equals zero, this one, and this one. So what's left is my answer. Negative four times negative two gives me positive eight. So that's how we would show concretely how to multiply integers using double-sided chips.